Yo, it's your boy Gabe with us on the Fan TV. Back at you another video. Uh, I just want to say thanks to everybody who's subscribing. Thank you for liking the videos. Thank you for commenting. And uh, just continue to share the videos, man. I love doing these videos. Hey, comment down below. Uh, only a couple people doing it, but I see y'all. I appreciate y'all. Hey, but look, you see the title of this video. So let's start it off right. EDC has done it again. Okay. The Ravens have signed Kyle Fuller to a contract. Now, why is this a big deal? We're talking about Kyle Fuller, former first round pick in 2014 to the Chicago Bears. Baltimore native, he's coming home, and they're not going to have to pay him a large amount of money to play here because he's already been paid before in his career. Uh, in, in Chicago, he already had, he already got the big deal. So he's, he's off of that. This is a true Raven signing. Getting a guy who still has a lot in the tank, and you don't have to overpay for him. So let's go over Kyle Fuller. All right, like I said, Baltimore native, went to Mount St. Joe High School. If y'all from Baltimore, y'all y'all familiar with that. Went to uh, Virginia Tech for college, tore it up there, first round pick. Okay, let's look at the career stats: nineteen career interceptions, first team All Pro twenty eighteen, interceptions leader twenty eighteen, seven interceptions. Um, now he played six years in um, Chicago, 2014-2020, Had one year in Denver. It didn't go his way. Okay, that's fine. But that's one year. He's only 30 years old. This is a good, good, good signing for the Baltimore Ravens, man. Um, let's see. Inside, outside versatility. He can play that slide. He can play the boundary. Now Marcus Peters doesn't have to be rushed back. If Marcus Peters still feel like, okay, look, I'm, I'm close on the ACL, but I ain't, I ain't fully there yet. Cool. Take your time. Kyle Fuller is here. This is the same reason why I wanted the Ravens to sign James Bradbury for this exact reason. We needed another guy. I think if you look at my video for Ravens uh, biggest needs currently May 2022, I talked about cornerback. Eric DaCosta went and addressed that. Kyle Fuller instantly solves that problem. Instantly. Now the Ravens, when Marcus Peters is fully healthy, go three deep automatically. Fuller, uh, Humphrey, Peters. Now you could now you can rotate the young guys in. They don't have to have a big role. Stevens can rotate in. Armor Davis can rotate in. Pepe Williams can rotate in. It's that it's a it's a beautiful signing. How much security this gives the Ravens just on a conscious level, as far as like we don't have to throw the young guys to the fire. Beautiful signing. Okay, and another reason I like the signing. Marlon Humphrey can now play some slot. I've been saying this. A bunch of other Raiders fans have been saying this. When Marlon is around the football, locked in and engaged, that's the best Marlon Humphrey. And when he and when that happens is when he's in the slot, man. Y'all, if I can't tell, I'm fired up about this signing. Like, like no, <laughs> no lie, I'm fired up about this signing. So this gives the Ravens now legitimately. You gotta show me a better secondary than what the Baltimore Ravens have put together. You have to show me a better secondary. I, it's on paper. They haven't played together. I know. I get it. It's a new system coming in with Mike McDonald. We're going to get all the little precursors out there. Da, 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 da. Why it can't be this? But on paper, you got to show me a better secondary than what the Baltimore Ravens have put together. EDC, I'm going to clap it up for you the second time in this video. Good job. Good signing. Um, if we see the weaknesses, we know the Ravens see the weaknesses, right? So he addressed it. Great. Uh, it, it, it makes me wonder if they were in on James Bradbury. Maybe, and like I said in, in the James Bradbury video, his number was probably too high um, because that was reports that came. He had a high number, and uh, so to, so those teams got whittled down. And he chose the Eagles. Cool. Kyle Fuller is another guy on our list. He's on that tier with like the AJ Bouye and things like that. But he's probably, if not the best guy, at least a top three guy that was remaining out there for for the cornerbacks. So the Ravens signed Kyle Fuller instantly boost their defense again this is a defense we were already talking about is a revamp defense and what do they do they get better so really now we still got some needs all right i think the ravens need one veteran wide receiver i'm not gonna talk about that in this video we talk about wide receiver enough and they probably need pass rush help not probably they do um outside linebacker for the ravens so if justin houston comes back great um, you know, the, you, um, sorry, the free agent tender. So that he comes back. I'm happy with that. I would still like to see somebody else maybe potentially, but 
I'm good with Justin Houston if that, that's the guy who they bring back. So I'm fine with that. But this Ravens secondary, beautiful. Hey, Cincinnati, y'all want to line up with y'all three wide receivers? Love it. Come see us. Come see us. For real. Um, I'm pumped, man. I, I can keep going, but I ain't go, I'm not going to keep rambling on and on. I don't want to get repetitive. Uh, so Kyle Fuller coming home to Baltimore. Baltimore native, Baltimore Raven. Shout out EDC. Great signing. Shout out to the team. Great signing. Um, anyway, it's your boy Gabriel. Just on the fan TV. I'm out.